All right, okay, so I've got um, three or four of these um, two-way radios, um, PMRs, on the um, 446 um, bandwidth. Um, and trouble with them is they take they're only cheap ones and they only take three AA batteries. And the trouble with that is whether you put rechargeables in there or alkalines, they don't last very long. I mean, if you put alkalines in there, you'll be lucky to get a day's use out of them. Now, this one I modified and put a longer antenna on to get a longer range. But anyway, so what I was going to do is just convert it to lithium ion battery. Now, I've got some of these. Um, <coughs> If I can find it. Got some of these batteries here. It's a Dell lithium ion lap either a laptop battery or some kind of um tablet type um computer that must have been out of it's a very uh slim line pack. And so I pulled one of these apart <coughs> and this is the battery that I got. It's got four of four of these cells in there, made by um, Samsung, and they're 4.2 volts, so they're just a standard lithium battery. Where it says it's a lithium ion on the on the, um, on the outside of the battery, anyway. So charge voltage should be 4.2 volts, anyway. So. <coughs> But these are perfect. I did wonder what I was going to use them for. And they're just the right size to fit in here. Now, so with a bit of soldering, they'll fit in there perfect. And then I can have, hopefully have a little small lead just at the side. And I'll be able to plug right into my charger. And then it should keep uh, this going for a lot longer, hopefully. Right, so... Um, I Taking the um, radio apart, it's just held in by four screws. Um, battery compartment is here. I um, decided to take all the um, battery um, terminals out because then I was able to fit the battery straight in. And I've just soldered two wires to that battery so I can solder them directly to the two pads on the um, board. And then what I'm going to do is, is I've got one of these servo extension leads here. What I've done is I've just uh, clipped the white wire off and then just cut it in half. And I'm going to use this for the um, charging lead. So I'll just be able to plug it in like that and be able to charge it from my um, RC charger. And that will also... Just, I'll be able to tuck it in just down there so it'll be out of the way and the back will still go on so that should be should, should be pretty good hopefully Right, so I've completed it. There it is. Uh, power it on. And there we go. So, there's the battery in the back there. Charge lead just tucked down the side there. All I've done was, was uh, run the wires through where the um, battery terminals, where the battery, where I removed the um, battery terminals from, and just soldered directly onto the two pads. You've got to be just a bit careful because the plastic bit fits over the top of that, so you just need to keep it to the side. But yeah, it all, it all fits together nicely anyway. So I just ran two wires through, one for the um, charge lead. 
and then the other two to the battery. Uh, yeah, came out pretty tidy anyway. Okay, so that's good. Hopefully, it should last a lot longer than um, double A rechargeable batteries anyway. I should test it out. But yeah, not too bad. The way I charge it is on the um, Turnergy Acusau 6. And I didn't realise, but I've actually already got one of those servo style connectors on this lead here, which come with another um, RC charger. And it's already got one built on, so that's handy. Yep, so that means all I've got to do is, is um, take the back off and then just plug it straight in. Okay, plugged it in. And then got it set at one cell. 500 milliamps, which is, should be um, okay. And there we go, battery's charging. Just going to charge it up till it's filled, but yeah, all done. So now I should get a longer battery life. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye.